What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Alex's Toy Show. That's right, everybody. It's Q&A time. Q&A number 65. We got the Night of Champions. But before we get to any questions and the predictions later on, uh, huge thanks to Ryoga for sending the page figure. Uh, I hope you liked the intro at the uh, at the front there. I changed up the, uh, the cast of the show, and I stuck the page figure in there. Thanks again, Ryoga. First question. First. Everybody, we have a question. First question comes from Sebastian49ers from Vegas. I was chatting with him on uh, on Amino. He's from Vegas. How long have I known Grim, and how long have you been watching wrestling, and how long have you been do, uh, doing YouTube? Uh, okay, multi-question. Uh, I know Grim a long time. Uh, it's an older question a lot of people ask, and I answer it, you know, a couple times already. But a long time, many, many years. Um... How long have you been? I've been watching wrestling. A lot of people ask me this, too. Um, I, I don't know. I, I was a kid. Uh, we were watching, you know, Saturday morning cartoons, and then WWF superstars would come on Saturday, and that's kind of how I got introduced to it. And then uh, my first, as a kid, uh, also my first event was uh, War Games. Uh, Sting still had blonde hair, and I just, I, I was hooked after that. Uh, I've been doing YouTube um, with... Uh, pretty much with Grimm, uh, since he started his show, maybe a little before he started his show, because I did a couple of videos with, uh, Feisty Pants when he was a wee lad, and, um, uh, once, uh, once Grimm got to a point where, uh, you know, uh, he was good on his own, and then I started my own show, uh, a little bit more than a year now, uh, so, yeah. Jeremiah Baez wants to know my favorite Transformer and my favorite WWE figure. Uh, my favorite Transformer is, uh, is in this link here. Uh, I've, I've done two videos about him, and, uh, I, I don't know, I guess that's an easy question. But my favorite figure is the page figure that Ryoga sent in fan mail! It was awesome! I can't wait! I pro- I, I display it proudly. Uh, Edward Carter, you're f If I was in the WWE, what would be my finisher? Uh, I love the RKO that Randy Orton does, I would have some kind of modification of that, because you can't do the same thing. Uh, but you know what, also, I was always for, uh, I was always a fan for the big, uh, submission move out of nowhere, like, um, who used to do it all the time? I want to say Bret Hart used to do it all the time. You, you, you get a guy coming off the ropes, you catch, you catch him with, a with, like, a leg twist, and you turn it into a do abdominal stretch, and then maybe, you know, you throw him down for the you know, the sharpshooter out of nowhere. Sharpshooter out of nowhere! Oh my god! Solid steel sharpshooter! Uh, I was always a fan of the finisher move. I'm, I'm sorry, the submission move out of nowhere. And or the uh, RKO version of the RKO. Uh, Eric wants to know my favorite masked wrestler. Now, are you talking about like a mask or does face paint count too? Because Demolition was pretty badass. They wore both. They had face paint and they wore a mask over the face paint. Um, so Demolition, hands down. MK Miner wants to know if he could be in the next Q&A. And, uh, you know, I had told him, all you need is a question. <laughs> and so he asks, uh, what would be the best thing you could want? Um, world peace? <laughs> I don't know. What do you mean, dude? What is the best thing? I should have asked you to be more clear. I didn't think about it till just now. Um, after world peace, uh, I'd like to win the lottery. <laughs> and, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't have, I don't really have a want for things. It's like, you know, Feisty Pants is happy. I'm happy. So Feisty Pants is happiness. That's what I would want. Jason Bullock, my favorite diva, any company. Uh, anyone who watches me, my show and knows me, uh, Trish is my all time favorite diva ever. She will always be the best. In fact, I, I, uh, Facebooked her the other Facebook the other day. Yes, and uh, uh, I want to say it was the anniversary of her retirement or some kind of anniversary just went by. It was like days ago. I said, Trish, you'll always be the de best divas champion. And uh, I told her that I run a web show, and whenever the fans ask any about you know all time favorite diva, it's always Trish. And then I tell her stories of her greatness. <laughs> it's the truth. I'm telling you a story right now of her greatness. Denny Doll, do you think Seth is a bad actor? Uh, not really. I don't. I don't think so. I think he's fine. Dakota. Dakota is is like my new favorite fan this week. He's he asked. He was worried about getting in the Q and A. Also, 
and he asked a question, and then he asked more questions just because he wasn't sure. <laughs> it turned out to be the same question over. I'll read them anyway. Um, he wants to know, where do I work this week? Uh, I work right here at Yankee Stadium. Um, I work at one of the concession stands. Maybe you'll see me. Maybe not. Mets are in town this weekend. Oh, no. I, I'm sorry. We're in town for the Mets. The Mets are Mets are home team. It was an abo and it, The game last night was an abortion. Friday night? The Friday night game. Can't, I, don't even get me started. <laughs> anyway, um, he wants to know, will I do... Will I do a WWE hunt tomorrow? You know what? The hunt videos are get kind of boring after a while. Um, and uh, people are more interested with what we pick up. So Feisty Pants and I have been doing more of a haul rather than a hunt. Um, but the last video we did the uh, his uh, wish list. And uh, we checked out the WWE aisle. And also, you know what? Whenever there are figures in the aisle, it's just a shit ton of John Cena, Alberto Del Rio, and CM Punk. And, you know, maybe some Daniel Bryans, if, you know, if you're lucky. But, you know, there's never, like, we saw the Gold Dust the one time, the basic Gold Dust. I should have bought it, because I haven't seen it since. And Feisty Pants is like, Daddy, look at this guy. And I'm like, oh, you know, and, you know, he's got the black and gold gimmick, and he, he looks awesome. I should have bought it. God damn it! Um, I should have bought it. I, I don't know. Uh, what else? Dakota wants to know favorite superstar, past and current. Um, Bret Hart and Roman Reigns. Uh, Diva is Trish and currently, currently, uh, Paige. <laughs> My God, I almost forgot her name. All I can think about is her butt and her boobs. I'm just kidding. Uh, if you, if you had to team up with the Hardys or the Dudley Boys, which would you choose? I would probably say the Dudleys. Uh, and would I take Trish or Lita on a date? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, a lot of people are talking about the match this past Friday with uh, Grimm and Apple Balls and why have I turned heel and backstabber this and, uh, you know, you, you piece of crap that. And I'm like, look, I'm just helping my friends all at the same time. There's no backstabber. There's no heel turn. There's no any of that. Um, I haven't, I'm not choosing sides. And, uh, you know, a lot of people have asked, when are you going to be back on Grimm's Toy Show? Because I guess hosting my own show is not enough. I'm back, and everybody's like, oh, screw you, you, you turned on Grim. Oh, I didn't turn on Grim. Everybody needs to go back and figure it out. Um, what else? Uh, Chris's birthday's coming up this week. Happy birthday to Chris. And now, if you weren't ready, we are ready now for the pay-per-view predictions. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Um, so, Charlotte challenged Nikki on Raw to a match uh, ahead of the Night of Champions because she wanted to win the, um, win the title. Uh, they pulled some twin magic, and uh, Charlotte won, but didn't win, and now she's got the rematch at Night of Champions, instead of just having the initial match at Night of Champions. you got to work a little drama into it, so she's going to win Night of Champions. My pick is Charlotte. Uh, the Dudley Boys versus the New Day. You know what? I'm a little torn on this, because New Day is so over right now. Uh, but then the Dudley Boys, you know, they come back, they're like, sign you to a contract, and, you know, hey, uh, we'll throw you in the contention for the belts. You would think they're going to win, because why else would they come back? Um, I, I had picked New Day to win this. I'm sure I'm going to be wrong. Uh, the Rusev, Dolph Ziggler, Summer Rae, and Lana story that has turned Jerry Springer. <laughs> oh, like, just wanted to end, man. I just wanted to end. I think Ziggler's going to win the match. But uh, I hear there's rumors that him and Summer are going to get together and Lana and Rusev re will reunite because their characters have been weaker since they split. Uh, so we'll see what th what's up with that. Uh, Kevin Owens, is I, I pick him to beat Ryback for the title. Uh, they, uh, Stardust in the Ascension. We got a six-man tag for Stardust in the Ascension versus Neville and the Lucha Dragons. Uh, I'm thinking faces on that. Lucha Dragons and Neville are going to win. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Okay. Um, Seth Rollins is going to have two matches tonight. Um, I feel he's going to lose both of them. I think he's going to lose to Cena. We'll have uh, Cena do the U.S. title and, you know, back on that stage. Um, and I think he's going to lose to Sting after, you know, having a grueling match with Cena. And then Sheamus is going to cash in on Sting. Right there. And then Sheamus, brand new champion um, for the heavyweight title. 
unbelievable. That's, uh, the guys and I have been talking about that for a while, and, uh, that seems to be the, uh, you know, the going, uh, the going belief. So we'll see. Um, but I think Rollins is losing both, and I would love it to see that happen and then have him reunite, reunite the shield on Raw. That would be cool. But then you're like, oh, well, what about the shield on the pay-per-view? Well, as we've seen, um, you know, they brought out Randy, or they were talking to Randy Orton backstage, and the Wyatts jumped him in fear of Randy Orton being the third partner. They did the same with Uso. And you're like, well, who the hell is left? Well, you know what? Cesaro doesn't have a match tonight. Uh, Kane is due back. Eric Rowan would be a great, you know, a great story because he's he used to be Wyatt and now he's face. But I, from my understanding, I hear Eric Rowan is hurt more so than, uh, you know, than coming back tonight. But you know what? Daniel Bryan was on Total Divas and, and they said, his doctor said he was clear to wrestle. How crazy would it be if Daniel Bryan comes out as the third member? Oh my God. Well, I guess we'll only wait and see. Uh, all right, so those are my predictions for, for uh, Night of Champions. And now, for stuff if you don't know, or if you do know, here's the fan mail. Uh, Alex's Toy Show, P.O. Box 13, Bayville, New Jersey, 08721. Uh, you can find me on Twitch. Uh, I'm my pal Alex. I stream uh, my EverQuest sessions there. Um, so you can kind of, you know, see get a feel for the game, see what I'm doing there. Uh, Amino, uh, I, I got the usuals. You know, I picked up the Minecraft Amino. I do the wrestling amino movies, Star Wars, toys, and MMO. Uh, Instagram, you can find me there, Lego Ideas, and the show, at my pal Alex. It's also my Twitter. Sunday, we do Q&A. Uh, also, like tonight, if there's a pay-per-view, I'll do pay-per-view predictions. You can leave your questions in the comments. You can tweet them to me, Instagram them to me. Uh, you can leave them on the uh, blogs in Amino. Uh, Monday, we do a toy hunt and toy haul. Tuesday is baseball cards. Wednesday, Feisty Pants does Minecraft. And Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we usually, you know, leave it open for anything else like fan mail and other stuff like that. All sorts of good fun. Like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe for more, and enjoy the pay-per-view!